Welcome to SPOT, the school portal for outbreak tracking. SPOT supports efforts to safely reopen and keep open California schools and accelerate contact tracing efforts by facilitating collaboration and sharing of information between schools and their local health departments, LHDs, through CalConnect, California's public health contact tracing and data management system. SPOT is a secure system for school liaisons to easily enter key information about individuals who tested positive for COVID-19 or were in close contact to an infected person to their local health departments. Once recorded in SPOT, this information is sent to CalConnect, where an investigator from the local health department will review the information and then use it to initiate important contact tracing efforts. As a SPOT user, you can report cases and contacts, view your school location, export SPOT data, submit a SPOT bulk upload template, or a line list of close contacts, and view dashboards of information in SPOT. To get started using SPOT, open the Welcome to SPOT email you received after talking to your local health department. This email contains a link that will allow you to set your SPOT password. It also contains your SPOT username, which you will need every time you log into SPOT, and a link to the SPOT homepage that you will want to bookmark to come back to in the future. Click the link in the email and set your SPOT password. Then log into SPOT with the password and the username contained in the email. Your username is not just your email address. It is typically your email with SPOT at the end which you will need to use every time you log into SPOT. Once you've logged in, you'll see the SPOT landing page. Click the Report Cases and Contacts button. On this page, you can complete a form with key information about individuals who tested positive for COVID-19 or were in close contact to an infected person at your school. You can also view all information entered in SPOT for all your schools. To enter in new information about a case or contact, select the location for which you are reporting from the drop-down menu. Select the radio button according to whether the individual is a COVID-19 case, someone who has tested positive for COVID-19, or a COVID-19 contact, anyone the case has come in close contact within six feet for a cumulative 15 minutes or more, two days prior to the case's symptoms beginning or two days prior to the test date if no symptoms. Note that the information collected for cases and contacts will be slightly different. Click New. The exposure event field is optional, but if your local health jurisdiction requests Please enter exposure event number provided to you by the local health department or select it from the menu that opens. If you don't see the exposure right away, click the magnifying glass to open the full search result. On the rest of the form, enter information about the individual. Required fields are marked with a red asterisk. Your local health department may also ask you to complete specific fields that may not be marked with an asterisk on the form. If you have lab result information about an individual, you can include those details. Once finished, if you have more individuals you would like to enter, click Save and New to open a new form. If you are finished entering individuals altogether, click Save. You can always come back to the Reports, Cases, and Contacts section and add additional people. After clicking Save, you will see a summary view of the last form you completed. Click Report Cases and Contacts to return to the list of all information entered in SPOT. This list will show you information that you and other liaisons have entered. If you do not see the location listed in the drop-down menu, select none of the above. Click Next. On this page, you will be able to enter information about the new location as well as information about the exposure. At the bottom of the form, you select whether you want to enter case information at the time of completing the form. 
If you are not ready to provide that information, you can send the new location and general exposure information to your local health jurisdiction. If you need to send an update or provide a correction to data for an individual, do not submit a new case or contact entry form. Instead, click the number in the spot case and contacts number column next to the individual's name. Then click the send update button. A form will open where you can leave a comment about the update. For example, you entered their phone number incorrectly or the individual recently had a positive test result. Do not enter information about a different case or contact here. If you have more individuals to report, you must enter them as a new case or contact. You can optionally attach a document or file related to the case or contact. Click Upload Files and select the file from your computer. Once you finish, click Send Update. To view all updates for this individual, click the related link below. The next page is View Locations in Exposures. Navigate to this page by clicking the View Locations and Exposure button on the home page or the link at the top of any page. On this page, you can view all schools you are associated with and exposure events at those schools. Exposure events are used to track the spread of COVID-19 between multiple individuals in one space at a certain point in time. To view more details about a specific school, click the school's name in the name plus column. If you need to report a new exposure, click the Report New Exposure button. Completing this form will report a new exposure to the Health Department. Once reviewed, this form may be processed into a new exposure event. Please allow for processing time. On the form, complete all the fields you have information for and click Next. Required fields are marked with a red asterisk. After clicking Next, you can review the data you entered. Click X to exit the form. If you need to send an update to the local health department about the school or send a file or document related to the school, click Send Update button. In the Comments field, enter information about the update. You can optionally attach a document or file related to the exposure. Click Upload Files and select the file from your computer. Click Send Update. The update will be sent to the local health department for their review. To view all updates for this school, click the related link. You can also see all exposure events related to this school from this view. To view more details about a specific exposure event, click the number in the exposure event column. If you need to send an update to the local health department about the exposure or send a file or document related to the exposure, click the send update button. In the comments field, enter information about the update. You can optionally attach a document or file related to the exposure. Click upload files and select the file from your computer. Click Send Update. The update will be sent to the local health department for their review. To view all spot updates for this exposure, click the related link. The next section is Export Data. In this section, you can download and export of data entered in spot in CSV format. You have the option to download data based on location, exposure event, only your data, or all data entered in spot for locations you are associated to. Note that information entered on this site will only be available on this portal for 180 days after it was entered in spot. After that time, you will need to reach out to your local health department for any related inquiry. The next section is Summary Dashboard. In this section, you can view summary data about information entered in spot for your schools. You can see the total number of cases and contacts, cases and contacts grouped by exposure event, cases and contacts grouped by the liaison who entered them, and cases and contacts grouped by their school affiliation. 
The next section is bulk upload. In this section, you can download the spot bulk upload Excel template and send a completed spot bulk upload template to your local health department. Spot bulk upload allows you to enter information for multiple closed contacts in a line list fashion, rather than entering the information one person at a time. Please refer to the spot bulk upload demo for liaison to YouTube video for guidance on how to use this functionality. The last section is help and support. This section includes answers to frequently asked questions, a section containing help documents, including the school portal user guide, and a link to this YouTube video.